how to talk about it. Over here, just start talking. How should we start it off? What? I don't know. You're not gonna cry, are you? I might. Okay. <laughs> um, I hate talking about things like this. I really do. It's awkward. <laughs> it is awkward, but it's about your health and well-being and mm -hmm. I think it's important to know that you can openly talk about it on our platform, but also yeah. that it's something that I really want them to understand. Yeah, and just to know what's going on. Um, basically, around January, I would say, uh, of this year, of this year, I started noticing a lot of pain and stiffness in my neck and ooh the thunder sorry it's gonna rain here we're so excited we love we love the rain <laughs> <laughs> my support pillow so at the time I thought originally the pain that I was feeling was because of my job so I'm a CNA I was doing CNA work in nursing homes and I mean, for anyone who has been a CNA or has worked in the healthcare field, like, you know that job's really hard on your body. You know it's really hard and, you know, when you're a little, a little thing like me and, and not strong, you know, it's even harder. So I just thought that, I just thought the pain that I was feeling was from that. And I would go get massages, I would, you know, do things to try to loosen up my muscles, but none of that ever worked. So fast forward to just going to a bunch of specialists and trying to figure out why I was in the pain that I was in. But not only that, I was not able, I'm still not able to turn my head to the left. I have a lot of pain, um, stiffness and twisting on the right side of my neck that basically is there 24 seven and never goes away. Um, so I am constantly in pain, which makes it really hard to do anything. I mean, I still work. I don't work a lot of hours, but I work, I go to school, I'm in nursing school. So I just try to power through and and do what I can, but it's it's really hard because it hurts. To understand the scope of how much limitation she has on a regular basis, you know, you don't really understand, like I didn't really understand what she meant by pain in her neck. I just thought like she slept crooked or you know, it was just kind of like super tense and she needed to get it worked out, but it affects her daily. You know, I'll say something in the kitchen and she'll be sitting on the couch and our kitchen is on the left and she struggles to sometimes turn to look at me or driving can be very uncomfortable. And so we use a lot of heating, ice, all that kind of stuff, but it has progressed to the point where it's really hard for her to even go to the mall, go out to eat, go do anything. And so it affects us, mostly her, it affects her and her ability to live like normally. So like she said, we went to a bunch of specialists and they discovered that. You so we went to the neurologist last week, was it? The neurologist last week and they came to the conclusion that I have cervical dystonia, which if you don't know what that is, um, I'll put like a little description here so you can read it. And I'll also insert some pictures so you guys can see how stiff and crooked my neck gets. Like right now I'm looking pretty straight, but like, you know, you guys can't really see it, but if I come closer, you might be able to, you can tell that my neck's like See, it just wants to lean to like this side. And if I went like loose and comfortable, my neck would just do this. But I'm like forcing myself to like turn even though it's like spasming because I don't want to walk around with my neck to the side. But I mean, it 
it's definitely really uncomfortable and it hurts and it's something that I've been dealing with now for almost a year and um the only thing they can really do for me is Botox injections and hope that that helps it doesn't cure it this is something that I found out does not go away um it could go away but it could not it could get worse it could get better it could like I don't I don't know I just have to hope for the best and hope that the Botox works so I can live my life normally and not be in pain anymore and we've tried you know pretty much anything that you can think mm -hmm. of we've yeah. gone to PT we've gone to before we knew that it was cervical dystonia we you know did manual PT we did regular PT we mm -hmm. went to the chiropractor yeah. we tried so many things we did like electrotherapy like you know just regular massages she sees um massage therapist regularly and so we've tried everything that every specialist has recommended um we had already checked those things off before even going into their offices and they're like wow you guys have done everything and we're like yeah and that's why we need answers because it's uncomfortable for her and i always feel like it's not fair because you didn't ask for this you didn't do anything you weren't in a motor vehicle accident you weren't skydiving it just happened or, randomly yeah. that that's the craziest part of it all i didn't have an injury to my neck i just it just happened it went from just stiffness feeling like i was stiff to this and there's no reason why it's just something that i have to deal with and learn how to deal with and I mean, it sucks because my dream is to be a nurse and I can't be a nurse if I have this because how am I going to take care of people when I need to be taking care of myself? Like, that's the biggest thing for me more than like going out to places and more than living my daily life. Like, I almost don't even care about that. Like, I just want to be a nurse. I just want to take care of people sucks because I'm the one that needs to be taken care of so I just hope by the time I graduate that I'll be able to do my job and do my dream job but help people yeah you're crying you're crying <laughs> are you crying because I'm crying I was crying a little bit before no <laughs> honey and I tell you this all the time, it's just hard to see you in pain, like, if yeah. we're trying to go shopping and, you know, just do normal couple things, you know, you, I can see you, that you get in pain and you have yeah. to stretch it out and sometimes it, the spasms are just so bad that, you know, it's just uncomfortable and I, I wish I could take that away from you because it's not fair that you have to deal with this it's not fair that anybody who has dystonia has to deal with it but i mean you've done all of the heavy lifting of going to all of the specialists mm -hmm. and trying all of the types of rehab but also yeah. you found some support groups and you watch youtube videos to figure out like what stretches you can do so mm -hmm. you know you're doing all of the right things it's just it's a hurdle you know, it is. to make sure that you're comfortable. We're just gonna have to fight through it and figure right it now out. now it hurts so bad. <laughs> That's why I just really wanted to tell you guys and make this video, um, just because I wanted you guys to know and understand what I was going through. Not even understand, you don't have to understand, but I just wanted you guys to be aware. So when we do make YouTube videos and we're on TikTok and you know, you see me, looking a little crooked or stretching <laughs> or a lot. stretching a lot um maybe popping out a frame for a second <laughs> right popping out a frame to like just sit back and relax like i just want you guys to understand why that is and you know i can touch more on this topic if you guys would like you know you can ask me questions i won't get mad or offended you can ask me anything um i'm still learning myself it's a learning process for me and 
you know we just want to be open on this platform and i don't want to hide anything from you guys the ones that are supportive you guys are amazing and again we can't thank you guys enough so i just really hope that you guys get more of an understanding and you know i'm, I'm glad i can share this with you thanks guys bye